you've ever gone hiking, whether it be in Red Rock Canyon or Mount Charleston, you know that cell phone service is limited or not available at all. Imagine how difficult that makes things for Red Rock Search and Rescue when they're trying to communicate with their team and to find missing hikers. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara tells us about some new technology the nonprofit is using that could save lives. Up until now, Red Rock Search and Rescue has been using cell phones and radios to communicate with one another when there's a missing hiker. But sometimes that means hiking three miles to find cell service to communicate. Casey Randalls can relate to that. Yeah. He'll never forget the phone call he received last May that his brother and a fellow hiker were missing but couldn't be located. All the time, people are lost in Red Rock. They're trying to find them. and. Uh, yeah, anything to help the community, anything to help that process. In Casey's case, his brother Sean Randalls and his friend Melanie Kushner did not make it out alive. Losing Sean was a whole new level of loss. I uh, really, I don't think I'll ever come to terms with what, what it is. With the pain, no, I would not want that on anybody. This will carry through the rest of my life, my whole family. And now maybe no one else will have to go through that, thanks to a new technology Red Rock Search and Rescue is using. That will give us uh, pretty much uh, access to communications anywhere in the valley. A generous member of our community donated two satellite telephones to the nonprofit, which rescuers say will be so much more reliable than cell phones and radios. The problem with the ham radios is, and the cell phones is that sometimes we'll get out behind mountains, down in valleys, gullies, washes, where we can't pick up a signal. Casey doesn't know for sure this technology would have saved his brother's life, but he's hopeful it helps future families looking for their loved ones that might be injured or dehydrated saving minutes, even hours, in getting these people help. I'm surprised that it's not already being done, to be honest with you. Red Rock Search and Rescue has the satellite phones ready to go, but they come with a cost, nearly $1,500 for an annual subscription, for which they're asking for your help. Fair to say these people would be contributing to life-saving technology, Brian? Absolutely. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News.